Hi everybody! Today we will speak about characteristic functions and how to apply them for solving probability problems. Let's start with the definition. Let C be a random variable. Then the function fix C from the set of real numbers to the set of complex numbers, defined in the following way, is the characteristic function of C. Here is an alternative definition. If we know the cumulative density function f, then the characteristic function is defined in the following way. Discrete and continuous variables. If C is a discrete random variable with a set of values xk, then we get the following formula using the sum notation. In case C is a continuous random variable with probability density function f, then we should use the following formula. There are many tasks where you need to find the probability density function. In general, you can do this having the characteristic function and applying the Fourier transform. Here you see it. Now let's mention the key properties of characteristic functions that can be useful for solving different types of problems. The first phi is bounded. It reaches the maximum value 1 at t equals 0. The second phi is uniformly continuous. The third if eta is a linear transform of xi, then characteristic function of eta is defined in the following way. The fourth suppose we have n independent random variables then the characteristic function of the sum is the product of characteristic functions. The fifth tells us uh, that functions phi xi and phi minus xi are related in the following way. The sixth property allows expressing the expected value of k's power of a random variable. And the seventh tells us necessary and sufficient conditions for a variable to be symmetric. This table shows characteristic functions of the most widely used distributions. Constant distribution, uniform, Poisson distribution, Bernoulli, binomial, normal, exponential, chi squared and gamma. Now let's talk about practical application of characteristic functions. Let's solve a few problems to demonstrate basic principles and ideas. Problem 1. Suppose xi1 and xi2 are independent normally distributed random variables. Let's prove that the sum is normally distributed too. Let xi1 be a normally distributed function uh, random variable, sorry, with parameters m1 and sigma1 squared and xi2 with parameters m2 and sigma2 squared. Then the characteristic functions are the following: phi1 and phi2. Using the property for about characteristic function of a sum, we get the following results. Phi xi1 plus xi2 equals the product of phi1 and phi2. After substitution and simplifying, we get the following result. It is exactly the characteristic function of normally distributed random variable with parameters m1 plus m2 and sigma1 squared plus sigma2, sigma2 squared. Problem 2. Suppose xi1 and eta are independent identical distributed random variables. Let's prove that the difference is symmetric random variable. Proof. Let's use the property 7. Here it is. By definition, phi nu equals the expected value of this exponent. Since xi, xi and eta are independent, we get the product of expected values. Since xi and eta are identical distributed random variables, then we get phi eta equals phi xi and we can replace the second multiplier. Using the property 5, here it is, we get the following result. And finally, uh, we get the squared absolute value of phi xi 
obviously it is real real valued. So according to the property 7, nu is symmetric random variable. Of course, there are a lot of other examples where characteristic function techniques could be efficiently applied. Thank you for watching this lesson. If you have any questions, visit our website, contact us via email, Facebook or Twitter. Good luck!